ready? Oh, I'm ready. Hi, Rob. Brian here. Go suck a dick. Yes, that's we're true. also more likely to be chronic masturbators, so that's true. And cry. I do hear people laugh. <laughs> and cry. <laughs> At the same time. From the fashionable north side of Racine, Wisconsin, it's the podcast that's faster than a speeding tricycle that and harder than a special kid's helmet. It's guys, games, and beer. Why would a special needs child need to have a hard helmet? Shut up. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You have to. There's, like a there's a reason why right there. Well, <laughs> it's not special. Well, he Brian, special. obviously your helmet was not hard enough. <laughs> I do wow. have a glass on my head. Wow. Was it that mean, really? Yeah, yeah, that was. That was, that was a rough. That yeah. was kind of rough, Rob. I got, ooh, ouch, man. Really? I, that was, I, I got a butt hurt on that one. A little bit, yeah. Oh, you got oh, that, that earlier. That was bad. I've I don't think that's related, but still. worse. Yeah. I know, we're just getting started bad. Uh, so. Oh, great. Nice. So, Rob, what are we talking about tonight? Shots. My lack of gin and tonic. Wow. Oh, my gin and tonics run dry. You know, I can't do the show without it. Uh, so, we're going to talk about E3. <laughs> Now, Perry is going to talk about E3 from Christmas past. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to start off with one of your favorite things. Yeah, Papa. Yeah, Papa. Larry, let's hear what you got to say. Tell us a story. What was your favorite thing from E3 in 2006? <laughs> Wasn't that uh, Dragon Age that came out about that? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, actually. <laughs> you want to be on the side. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right, right there. What madness is this? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know that? You didn't follow any of E3? I haven't been following any of the E3 stuff. But, you know, it hasn't been as exciting as and yours. And you work with a It seems like, uh, you know, I don't see, like, big announcements on Yahoo or anything like that. Uh, yeah, that's your problem. You're reading Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> But you, you, get a pattern, Shots fired. You, know? you get a pattern of reading something <laughs> uh, really, uh, yeah, <laughs> reading the same thing. Well, 2006, Yahoo, that'd be right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working my way up. You're working your way up from what? AOL News? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are not mad. <laughs> I kind of miss that. <laughs> just, just leave. <laughs> just being told well, about well, this. Look, I'm playing a game from almost this generation. Almost. Almost. <laughs> yeah, and it's I a mean, really it's a horrible year old council, but still. It's a really horrible <laughs> game. So, Larry, tell yeah. me what's risen. This is Risen 2. Whoa! And, and I bought it because wow. I, love, I love the romantic age of pirates. And this is a pirate themed game. So I was. Black pirates? I had hoped, and there are very few good pirate like games. Maybe surreal. since. Uh, uh, pirates. Well, <laughs> I was thinking Monkey Island, but you know, that may be the last good pirate you know, themed game. But. So I had high hopes. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And, 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 uh, uh, and it's, it's it? about pirates. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and and this game and sure, cut the the story's kinda okay so far, but uh it's got some definite issues. <laughs> I told you! I told you! <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's got issues. So well you know, I mean, and I know that that games on the 360 can be better than this, but like when people are talking, it's like a dubbed movie. None of the the mouths match up, and there's a you know that, and the inside of the mouth is like a flesh color that matches like their cheeks, which is just weird to look at. You know, it's just it's a very unpolished game, and, and the mechanics aren't real intuitive. But so far, I'm I'm a little disappointed. Can I just take a look at that? Hey, Larry. Let's see. You're going to get louder in just... Yeah, there, you there you go. go. And hey, but it came with tons background? of downloadable content here. That since I'm not sure I'm going to play the original content, I not super useful. 2012 Deep Silver 2. Yeah, so it's a newer game. Yeah, I'm reading the back oh, of it. Hot 
Damn! That wait, really? That's like wait, the newest whoa, game so you've ever played. Is this a yeah. sign of the apocalypse? Yeah, yeah. Larry's no, playing is, a relatively new game. This is a two-year-old game. Yeah, but that that it sucks. Two years old. It's two years, and it's it's just the graphics are not very good. It, maybe I don't know. Is this an right. inexperienced company or something? Sacred. Because wait, Deep Silver. Yeah. Deep Silver? yeah. Deep Silver? Because it's is that like the, not uh, very uh, good. It's, it's like no. a pirate. It's like a pirate. Was, that was made kind of a budget game name, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it was a budget game. I don't know. I remember. But uh, I'm going to continue to play the story isn't, isn't bad. Today, right? <laughs> the story isn't bad, so I think I'm going to keep swinging with it for a little while, despite <laughs> its graphical. <laughs> it, it does have pirates in it. Yeah, and it's got pirates in so it. Okay, pirates. Oh, yeah. so, <laughs> you know. All right. So back to 2014, Mike. Yeah. E3. E3. The topic that was supposed to be on hand. <laughs> it's the topic that was supposed to be on. Well, I, if anybody actually watched us, me and Travis were watching E3, when I got there, we only really caught the Sony conference. I caught it all. I don't know about you. Neither. Same here. I, I didn't catch it all. You know who's not a Pokemon I miss, master? I missed Microsoft. <laughs> Mike. I missed not Microsoft. Not a Pokemon master. I missed Microsoft yesterday. I didn't pick Fucking up Fucking slut. Hey, did you know that uh, Microsoft announced that their console is a game console? Not an entertainment yeah. system. Yeah, I heard about yeah. that. That's yeah. pretty big news. That's, He's that's not a, a bold move by, uh, by Microsoft. Yeah, bold all of them. Bold, bold strategy, Cod. Let's see how it plays out for him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it plays games, too. Yeah, I, I really didn't know. I you, you, you know, like... <laughs> not a 400 hour event. We were already uh, talking about Netflix the Sony Friends conference. <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, we're going to talk about the Vita a lot. Not really. <laughs> they didn't really talk too much about the Vita. What about their flagship handheld? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Grim Fandango's coming to it. Hell yeah! I'm so excited. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. It's on the Vita now! Right. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Never heard of that game. Never heard of that franchise. Uh, when I saw the letter from the little kid, I was like, oh my god, this is so gaudy. What the fuck, Sony? And then it's like, oh, it's Tim Shaw. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, now I feel like an asshole. <laughs> that game is like uh, one of the top, I think it's listed in the top Adventure 10 of the top 100 it's, games. Yeah. It's so wow. good. It's Unsettled really list. good. Mm-hmm. Do yourself a favor and yeah, spend uh, you know, I, the 40-ish well, hours playing it. It's really well worth it. I'm pretty sure like they're probably going to replay They're going to play it out for free for PlayStation. I promise you it's worth right? it. Right? Yeah, yeah, and they're probably releasing tons more games for PlayStation. It's all they're going to have left for the beta. <laughs> oh, sorry. Like, they it's, I think they're probably going to go a little bit more all out for the people that actually pay for this subscription to use PlayStation Plus, but when you have PS4, you kind of have they, to. Yeah, and they do kind of have to make up for the like speed of the network and mm-hmm. other S- things they've done. Speaking of PlayStation, uh, you guys heard about the PlayStation TV? Where you're able to stream. Yeah, yeah. from uh, different. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay. Do you need to have a PS3 or a PS4 for that to work? I don't know. Or Are you talking just... about switching to PS3 or PS4 from I Xbox? Think, I, no, I'm, I'm not. Sure. I'm not no. switching. I'm looking wondering, to add wondering. because there's a thousand fucking do- goddamn thousand <laughs> games is... that I can play, get for $139. You son of a bitch. He's so there is no switching. Say, I, 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 I think I know. I think I know what you're trying to say. You're probably going to use it for like your Xbox or something like that, or. No, I just I I would like to get it. One hundred and thirty-six dollars. I think I think it's just a, like a Google Chrome. <laughs> That's right. Really so like, what do you what do you, what is so the basically it's an Nvidia Shield except bigger. Basically, am I able to take advantage of the PlayStation Now? Thing I don't know what I'm you're talking about. I, I have no idea. It does require the console. Oh, then fuck that. Yeah. I'm not spending $300 for something that I'm only going to touch a couple of times. Kind of like what do you like to do? Like, <laughs> right. I like, why would I need $300 to touch Wait, wait, wait what, are you, what are you guys talking about? You have to pay the about PlayStation that. Now, it is a essentially a, a streaming right, box. box. where you can take Bye. the PlayStation console you own and stream it on another set. <laughs> Oh, this okay. is you know, I'm thinking you're talking right about streaming Chrome. wise. Yeah, it's, it's they also came. Fantastic. They also commented Google about Google the Chrome Twitch. Yeah. 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 So how they're how they're, how they're like adding the whole new camera Thank system for the PS4. Proper. And then uh, they're oh. adding like the background the and stuff like that. Like me and Travis were watching it, and it was like the cheesiest thing to look at while you're playing games. What was? The, All right. Uh, oh, the like, Twitch cartridges yeah, instituted. Like That's you. it. <laughs> Crosstalk cartridges on. Here. <laughs> I like that crust. Guess what happens? <laughs> Baldies. Yeah. You go bald. <laughs> wow. you know, honor the cartridge. Uh, you just kind of shave someone's head. Yeah. <laughs> it, when it came to the EA press conference. <laughs> Do you even have a Jaguar? 
Yeah. When it came to the ES pro- press conference, I was like, and eh. the only thing I was like, woo, about was like Bioware is like they're showing like, oh, we're in production of Mass Effect, the new one. I was like, yay! Okay, I didn't see. I was happy about that. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I say we shave Ben's balls for that. <laughs> you can get next to his balls. Sweet. You can Dragon shave him right ahead. Ah, yes. 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 They're talking about Dragon Age Nair. 3. Nair. Nair. I did read about Nair. Dragon Age they, they did talk about Dragon Age 3. All right. Yes, they were. I forgot that they were talking about that. They were adding two new ways to add, like game ways you can play. Like over the Tower top. defense, and there's going to be a uh, right in the action. One bunk, button jumper, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the match platformer? An endless runner, yeah. <laughs> what about the match three? Uh, match three will be added, yes. Okay. You heard it here on G2B. New features of Dragon Age 3, <laughs> endless runner, tower defense, <laughs> and match, match three. Match three with yeah. gems. Hashtag first on G2B. Yep. Yep, there we go. And then it kind of, that out. it sucked when Bethesda canceled their press conference because they just talked about the Battlefield hardline for like an hour. Mm. Did you just say Bethesda? Yeah. Mm. And I fucked up the name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you did. I kind of figured I was <laughs> burning I butchered it as well, so. Yeah, it, it's funny. <laughs> all right. So, um... I watched all the press conferences. Overall, I mean, like, I do have to say, everybody's kind of stepped into their game. They're like, yeah, you can have specific gripes with the company, and everybody's always going to complain about, oh, this is best, this has better graphics, oh my god, this is my preference, oh my god, shut up. Everybody has different preferences when it comes to games. I think overall, most companies did pretty, pretty well. Microsoft finally, finally looked, you know, stepped up to their mistakes, and even though they butchered the shit out of last year, and uh, they finally focused on the games. I was a little disappointed, though, because... No, they didn't. You disagree with that? It's still an entertainment machine to you, uh, Brian? Sorry. Am I, am I allowed to He's like sitting there going, of... nope, 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 nope. You don't no, 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 it's an entertainment device. Well, That's I, what Brian says. I, I, wait, you know what? I got a rebuttal. There is some support for the idea that they're still keeping it yeah, in entertainment. I mean, they're, you know, with the announcement that, okay, all the entertainment pieces are going to be free. Yeah, but the you thing know, is, is so. E3 wasn't a place to showcase that. Right. E3 is the for the hardcore gamers. What? They Expo. needed to cater really? that audience. I mean, really? it, you know, in that in that vein, I mean, Sony was sitting there with some graphs. I mean, you know. Yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm just saying, my, my gripe with the Microsoft... It was there was very little actual gameplay, and by very little I mean minutes of actual gameplay. It was mostly CGI pre-rendered. I thought they were animated gifs, weren't they? Yeah, some some was in-engine stuff. <laughs> there was some engine and Call of Duty stuff, dog. but there was very little actual gameplay in there. It was and it was stuff that was 2015. There wasn't really wasn't anything very exciting coming out this year. Uh, I was a little disappointed with that. Well, I mean, come on. Let's, I do have to say, I let's be honest. Actually, Dragon Age of, is going to be a good title. I was, <laughs> I was very I impressed with the Master Chief Collection. I, I like that they're giving Halo 2 the anniversary treatment. Um, there's going to be, and I like the way. Basically, I don't know if you guys have heard, they, they're combining Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4 into a package. The yeah, multiplayer, I mean, the best part about it is they're going to have a queue where you can actually, from match to match, jump between game to game. So, like, one oh, match you're playing a, cool a Halo idea. 2 round, then you jump to, like, Halo 4 or Halo 1, depending on what people vote on. And the matchmaking is going to be based on that. You can jump game to game, which I think is going to be really cool. That could put me into an Xbox. That kind of thing. <gasps> it's just playing. Oh, shit, I playing got a Halo game. boner. And they're going to have, you they're right. gonna have all Let's four go. Halo games, plus all the map packs for everything. Ooh. You're going to be able to use Forge in Halo 2. So you can yeah, be Halo 2 maps. your asses in 2. So it's, it's, I really, I, for the $60 it's going to be, it's going to, it's really going to be hard to pass up. I really do, I really do think so. Um, so that, there was some good stuff, but I mean, there was nothing that just was just like, oh my God, I have to have this, is going to be to play. Well, nothing this for year. That, yeah, for the, and especially for this year. Advanced Warfare. But, uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> if it's good, I'll it, 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 I mean, it, it's probably it, it, it pretty be pretty solid, but it's just not my forte. Um, the Sony stuff, they did a really good job focusing on the games. Uh, oh, before I leave Microsoft, Sunset Overdrive, I'm really fucking yeah. excited for. It. I think yeah. that that's I think my strongest personal order for the Xbox One. Huh? I really I per- and that's just personal. Well, you know, okay. I hey, personally like um, I like the style. I like the gameplay. It looks fast. It looks fun. You know, it doesn't take itself too seriously, and it looks like 
there's a lot you can do in it. What's that open space game on the uh, PS4 that they showed this No Man's Land? Yeah, man. Bat it's full Bat they have no, no, Man's no Man's Sky. No Man's, Man's Sky. Sky. Sorry. That really yeah, looks I was going to get yeah. to that. I was going to get to that. So the, for, the, for the Sony, they, 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 they knew what they were going into. They... I think they really played to their audience very well. They they really tailored to their audience very well, and like they they, so they played the, the games best. that people wanted. They kind of brought in the cross stuff. They kind of did some more of the Ubisoft stuff. Ubisoft actually did a really good job with their presentation, and Aisha Tyler was pretty funny. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. god. The woman yeah. is hilarious. Yeah. I think she did a really good job. Somebody f bomb. For, for yeah. <laughs> for, I will push Ubisoft. Okay. Oh, actually, no. The, fun, the only the only gripe I had with Aisha Tyler doing the Ubisoft presentation was like they started with um shit. What was the name of the game? They started with. Far Cry 4. Uh, oh, Far Cry 4, yeah. right? And I joked with this with uh, him yesterday. I was like, okay, then she came on stage doing the introduction like, Ubisoft's so great. I've been doing this for three years. I love their games. And, you know, with Ubisoft's presentation, we're going to start big and just keep getting bigger. And, like, so they started yeah, with Far no. Cry 4 and the second game they presented was Just Dance. And I was like, son of a bitch, I just got trolled so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so how, hard. I love how she started, like, being racist. But immediately after she said the statement, she was like, Just Dance. I was like, oh, great. Right. Something I really don't care about. Okay, so on to Sony. I think Sony had the best, uh, like, overall presentation. Uh, even though it did kind of get boring at the end. Uh, by the end of it, him and I were just drinking our asses off because it was just a bunch of stuff we really didn't care about. Like, I don't think they needed to have it the whole long two hours that they did. Oh, God. They could have they condensed it a little bit. And, like, I know they had a lot of really good stuff to show off. And they, they showed off some really great titles. Suit of 54. Yeah, the new Suda 51 game looks pretty ridiculous, even though it was just a teaser. Which which one? Uh, the uh, All Must Die, I think it was called. Uh, it's something. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That, one looked, that one looked okay. It looked pretty gruesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it, was, it was just a teaser. Yeah. Uh, Almost Die, yeah. yeah. And that is on a skateboard on the title screen. I would like to posit that I fell asleep in the middle. <laughs> let it die, of sorry. That. Oh, let it die. Yeah, that's oh. right. I'd like to posit that I fell asleep in the middle of that presser. That's like the. It was like it's kind of a boring. creepy, creepy, creepy cheat. Yeah. Uh, but it's, I mean, it's a Super 51 game. It's gonna be really bizarre and kind of hard to relate to. And unless you're into that kind of game, yeah. it's not really for you. Lollipop <laughs> chase. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> I know. So, but and I'm gonna have to say though, I I was like actually very impressed with the Nintendo conference because I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. <laughs> what? And they had the highest amount of games that I actually want to play. Like they had the most like interesting set of games. Like. There was a lot of games that I saw that were really good for the PS4 and Xbox, but they were, like, the good games even were pretty generic. It was the action stuff. It was the shooters. Even, like, the adventure stuff was still pretty kind of bland. Nintendo just kept doing what it wanted to do, and it did its Nintendo thing, and it came <laughs> out pretty good this year for some reason. Um... Uh, the, the big thing I really look forward to is Splatoon, which I kind of explained before the show. But basically, they took the aspects of a shooter, like a team shooter, and they kind of made it. And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use this in a bad way, but it's actually kind of a good thing. They, they made it kid friendly almost. And so kid basically, friendly shooters. Yeah, you yeah. bet. So yeah, basically, the goal Start is training it's, early, it's, children. it's four on four, and you can have and they have like multiple team things. They haven't revealed like all the detail. Program but started. you have paint guns, and you have to paint. Paint the map. Your, oh, okay. your team's color. You move faster on your color. You're slowed in your, your your enemy's color. But you can turn into these squids that can surf through their own paint. You can paint walls, ceilings. You can you know do this crazy acrobatic stuff. You can also hide in paint to like ambush people if you hide in your own color. But if you get painted over, you get screwed. Like it's a shooter, but it's just got this really cool like stylized like the, the mechanics of it look really weird and quirky and a lot of fun. And I think people like anybody could really latch onto it really quickly, which I think is going to be really cool. Oh. And that's just like something I didn't really see coming. Like, it's, it's not going to be one of those that's going to get connected to a school shooter, are they? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, well, they're training in this game called Toon Shoot. Obviously. Yeah. All the other, all the, everybody's well super geeked on all the other Smash Brothers stuff, and they had like, yeah. plenty of addition stuff to that. And like I think Nintendo played really well with their fans. They had like the guys who did Robot Chicken do stuff, like a few skits during the show, which what? was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. They, oh, they had, man, a, they had Reggie Fiume, like Robot Chicken Eyes, and like he fucking... Like, set somebody on fire with a fire flower because they talked about uh, Star Fox or something. Like, it was, they did a pretty good job. Like, they paid it to their audience pretty well. Uh, so, they talked a lot about the Super Smash stuff, and I was, like, really happy with that. I, I think they did what they needed to do. Now, hopefully, they just push the games that kind of back up their system, and I think they'll be okay. I, I do have to say, I think, I think Sony overall did the best. 
but I personally like Nintendo's more. But, like, I just, they have the most amount of games I kind of want to, I'm really interested in. Like, games, I'm like, they're like, oh, hey, Zelda Hyrule Warriors, teaser for a new Zelda. Um, they had some really good uh, third or second and third party stuff, like Devil's Third and some other cool stuff that look really weird games are coming to the Wii U to kind of diversify. And I, yo, I was, Bonds. Yeah, diversify, yo, Bonds. Yeah, so, like, and the, the Mario Maker, which is, like, you know, they, it's you can create your own Mario levels, and you can share them online, and you can switch on the fly between classic, like, NES Mario and, like, this Wii Mario in your levels on the fly, which is pretty cool. Whoa. Yeah, it's like, it's like Mario <laughs> Paint for level building. I can't. I was just about, it's Mario Paint and RPG Maker put together for creating your own Mario levels. So, yeah. Nice. Basically, it's it's Nintendo's response to, like, <laughs> I'm waiting, like, little bit I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for someone to do, like, the impossible like levels. Minecraft. Like, in Mario Frustration. <laughs> no. But yeah, no, so I've been wanting to watching the coverage religiously, and I, I, I think, like, although I'm not, like, anything that I'm just like, oh my god, my jaw dropped, this is, like, gonna be the best thing ever, there's, it was a pretty solid E3, I think, so far, the, the, the big keynotes. Yay, new bat! Um, I didn't watch it, <laughs> but, well, I got a Snapchat from Noob saying that Little Big Planet 3 is coming out, so I'm really excited about that one. But yeah, Snapchat. I didn't I didn't watch it because uh, the Snapchat well, or E3? E3 because no, we watched Sailor Moon instead. <laughs> yeah, I was watching Sailor Moon instead. Well, no, Fair enough. New was sitting on the couch. He goes, I might go hang out with Travis. I was like, okay. And um, he's like, there's this thing called E3 going on. And then uh, Travis is like, oh, hey, Cora. So he's like, okay, I'll see you later. Bye. And then he's like, out the door. Like, just ran. I had I to like, explain okay. to my girlfriend what E3 was, too. So don't feel like it's it's just important for us. Well, like, so. like, I he explained what E3 was. And I was like, okay. I was like, well, have fun, you know, just drive safe. And he wasn't even like, <laughs> listening to me. He was like, trying to pack up as fast as he could. And like, uh -huh. practically just ran yeah, out that door. One, he was going to go watch E3. Three, two, you were watching Sailor Moon and he was like, all right, she's already transformed this episode. Now they're just going to talk. Out? <laughs> no, I didn't get to watch I didn't start watching Sailor Moon until he left because he had been using his computer and I had actually fallen asleep on the couch watching Ink Master on Netflix. Oh my god, Ink yes. Blaster? Master. Ink Blaster. Is that like an Atari Master Blaster. Game? No. Okay. No. Cartridge. Okay, yes. so yeah, I guess you know the only thing I, I'm really looking for, I'm looking forward to is, and we've talked about it before. It's, it's going to be on Steam, and that's why we mentioned it before. It's going to be the uh, um, Gauntlet. Um, what's it called? Gauntlet Legends? No. Hey, no, no that's, that's, in, that's in six. That was. I'm sorry, sorry, no, 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 that was. Uh, no, um, uh, the best cast. cast. <laughs> uh, relics. Oh. Gauntlet Relics. That looks exciting, doesn't it? It looks great, and Warner Brothers they 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 launched it at E3. So oh, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be on should be on Steam any time now. Now that they've actually done the official rollout for it, so Warner Brothers. I assume that one will. What's that? So everyone could jump in from all. Yeah, wow. exactly. It, it looks really good. I mean, it, it's a nice remake of a classic to? game. So I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be a, a nice what piece of work. Ben's on. E3 happened? Didn't see that. <laughs> I have lost track time of days, months, hygiene schedule. Yeah, being yeah. out of work sucks. Definitely hygiene I schedule. I wish you would have told me that before I sat in front of you. <laughs> That's not even uh, Brian. Been you this entire Next. time. Next! Oh. <laughs> uh, so, I, guys, I think we know which game I'm excited for. Fat Daddy? And it's Minecraft. Flappy Birds! Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. Two. Uh, obviously, it's going to be Halo. I mean, was there ever any doubt? No. But no. 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 Um, honestly, I, I, all biases aside, I still think that Microsoft had the best of the four, but not by what much. What a surprise. Well, no, 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 no. Hear me out. Because most of the stuff that was being shown at the E3 and Ubisoft and even the Sony one, our pressers were all just rehashes or additions to what Microsoft had already shown, like with Far Cry, for example. I mean, I can go on. Microsoft on. didn't make Far Cry, though. No, they didn't, but they showcased it at the Microsoft well, event. That's well, that's, yeah, because it's a multi, it's a multi system. Yeah, it doesn't matter, still. It's the perception of it. And furthermore, 
I'd like to add something to what you said, where it seems like Sony was really focusing on the games. Then why were they doing hardware announcements? Why were they doing app announcements? Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, is they actually, they did the games, they did that, but Microsoft didn't actually show a whole lot of gameplay. It was still, more, I think Sony and Microsoft showed about the same, and it wasn't much. No, yeah, and like I wouldn't say Sony was strong, but they definitely had more the actual gameplay walkthroughs than. Uh, the only ones that I could think of was uh, Order 1886, Little Big Planet 3, and. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. What hardware was what showcased? Yeah, Sega? and then explain what Microsoft did besides Halo, uh, which was a game did. that was already released. Yeah, no, four I know they've done the anniversary treatment, but I mean, so, I, I do appreciate that. But something that I, I I have a suspicion about this already with uh, the Master Chief Collection is if you watch, did any of you see the trailer for uh, the Master Chief Collection? No. No. Okay. So they introduce the new character in the series, Agent Locke. And the Arbiter, voiced by Keith David, amazing actor, sits there and mentions, like, you know, you have to look past stories, that it, you know, you have to really look into what had happened. So what I suspect is going to happen is the Master Chief Collection is going to be a slight tie-in to Halo 5 Guardians, which makes sense. I mean, why else would they show this new character in the trailer for it? I mean, this. My mentality behind it. I have a feeling like everyone's eyes are just glazing over as I'm yeah, speaking. Yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. you're on the curtain. <laughs> trying to respect you. <laughs> <laughs> no, my eyes just are not paying attention. <laughs> yes. Well just yes. Yes. Hey, I want to go ahead. Yeah. You said that you said that someone uh, that they yeah. Sony focused on the, the equipment at the hardware. What was announced? What? Uh, they announced the PlayStation. Well, it was more what? hardware and software that weren't games. God damn it. I'm just trying it was to be the, awake. <laughs> talking about the. PlayStation Now, which admittedly I think is fantastic. Microsoft should knock on. Okay, the so that's just so I can. If I'm, I'm playing here, I can shoot it over to another TV kind of. Yeah, thing. that's for the PlayStation TV. Okay. And PlayStation Now is the service behind that, where you can stream uh -huh. all the PlayStation One and PS2 games uh, to it. Where you can stream them all? Hmm? What are you talking about? Like playing them? Yeah. Uh, I no, I obviously I believe yeah, it's, so, a, so basically it's, it's like a Steam online. box. Oh, and it's just all their old titles, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, well, that's but, but, sweet. but yeah. it's, a, it's an on live with all the games already included in it. But you still have to have the, the you still have to have the console to do it. It's not. So you need the respect the cartridge. You need you need <laughs> We're two pieces this. of yeah. two pieces of, uh, of equipment. Yeah, you need the PlayStation Now, which is a hundred and some bucks, but, but and then also the PlayStation Four. Now I thought the PlayStation Now was already included in the. You know, like they've had the beta on the PS4. The PS3 beta for PlayStation Now is coming out. And what are you doing? Oh, okay. And uh, that was free. I love how I instinctively reach for the. <laughs> helmet. <laughs> like, you're not going to take this from me. No, I, I love how Rob just ninjas I, I in and out realize. of this episode. <laughs> I didn't realize that you needed to have uh, another piece of equipment to be able to use it. I thought the PlayStation Now was going to be already... Yeah, yeah, it's its own... Play it on your it's, iPad, right? Yeah, it seems legit. Uh, no, I thought it would be included on the PlayStation architecture, but you know, I, it doesn't I look like it. I have some leanings towards that. Is there a monthly charge or something? Yeah, I, I believe you have to pay into the PlayStation well, Plus. Well, then what, what's the point of the TV, I guess? Well, it's only if you have a Sony TV that you can take advantage of that in a much more viable fashion, mm -hmm. which on a business point of point of view is fantastic because Sony TVs have been just tanking in sales. They're actually dropping the Bravia line in, within the next year, if I remember right, to focus on 4K televisions. So from a business point of view, that's really smart. It keeps people using those TVs and potentially gets buyers back into the See, Sony TV. At Midwest Gaming Classic, I saw that there, there, was a, there was something there I saw that might jump me up a few generations or at least What's that? get me into the PlayStation again is I really liked how the uh their, even though it's stupid looking, their gun, their, I don't know, bulbous. Oh, uh, the PlayStation. Oh, yeah. Wand, yeah. Not the PlayStation wand thing, thing job. Uh. Yeah, yeah, but the way it handled gun games worked better than most of the other ones that, yeah. you know, it's, it's definitely better than the Wii and and better than the, the, the Xbox. The I'm Connect, like, yeah. That gun game is pretty sweet. And so if I can get that and then all my old school games that I love so much, I wonder if I could even use the new, use point blank with the new gun 
through in emulation uh, in, in emulation through through that service because be that would be pretty sweet. Speaking of hardware, uh, you guys saw anything about the Morpheus that was uh, that rumor that was finally announced? <laughs> What do you guys think about it? I think it looks a lot like another device that I know. Yeah, the one that's been out for a little while. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Oculus, you hear that, um, it's the guy that joined on, Richard Garriott, if I remember right. What, was it? it? Yeah, I, th I think it was Garriott. Wow, um, Mr. Uh, yeah, Mr. Id, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Richard yeah. Garriott is Mr., uh, he's Lord British. Uh, uh Branson? No. It, it was someone from Id No, software. Richard Garriott is Lord British. Yeah, he's Lord British, but that's Ultima, he, yeah. Okay. He's being sued by the parent company for id Software uh, for taking trade secrets and applying them to the Oculus. Oh, you're talking about, uh, what's his name? Uh, I, 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 the Doom guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not Karmic. Um, yeah, the other one. Fuck. Yeah, the other Doom guy. The most famous one, yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah, I know he's getting sued by Zenimax or whatever. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, he's being sued it, just for allegedly and, taking uh, trade uh, secrets. Yeah, it's going to be in court for forever, so yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't expect anything fun of that. But he probably did. <laughs> no, well, that's the thing. All you have to do is basically order a subpoena on their design specs, and so nothing like uh, Steel Battalion controller. Uh, <laughs> nah, I, I think those uh, those kind of peripherals are definitely gone. I was gonna gone, say we got off topic right. uh, uh, quite a bit. We're still on topic. E three. E three is Oculus. We're talking about Oculus Rift's lawsuit now. Uh, it's connected to the Morpheus. <laughs> <laughs> what was that the, the topic that you suggested for the day no, the, how many things you care about yeah. <laughs> how many things we don't care about anymore sometimes I feel like I'm the only person that cares about business issues yeah. that are going on between these companies <laughs> you are okay. Nailed okay. It. You're obviously the only one that still cares about Halo <laughs> alright numbers don't lie up, if that was the case no if, the, if that was the case how come there's a fucking anniversary no I didn't bring up that point oh although I don't really have much to say either other than I'm excited for the new Zelda and the new Smash Bros, as well as uh, Splatoon, and so call me so, Nintendo fan. Yeah, that game looks good. It, it does really look good. Yeah. Uh, Slightly off topic, you know, I noticed uh, when I was uh, when I when I when I was reviewing some cosplay pictures. Reviewing. Reviewing. You know what I noticed? Google history How search. Jessica Negri taking off shirt. What? How often women are Link? Didn't we yeah. accuse Link of being a it cosplay? Is, <laughs> I didn't. I, I was gonna say something around those lines that they're just making her, uh, Link more androgynous you know, gotta, until it gotta, becomes a game about you lesbians. Got a point there because look at look yeah. at. Yeah. 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 Y
That seems interesting. <laughs> Mario crap. <laughs> Basically. Um, what systems link come on? Our Legend is over coming out. The, the Wii U. Wii U. Wii U. Uh, PlayStation 4, you heard of you folks? <laughs> on G2B, this is the first. I think there was two possible choices. Hashtag first on G2B. What are you talking about? It's coming off of the NES. Exclusive. Yeah, now we're the point, Brian. I think there was two legitimate choices there. <laughs> the Wii and the Wii U? The, the Wii U. I or DS. Oh, yeah, yeah. fair enough. 3DS. Yeah. Come on, it's gotta be DS. Because the know, new Zelda on the 3DS, 3DS looks really good too. The old, the link to the past one for the 3DS. Everything on 3DS looks wonderful. Or I don't know why. why but I really, between worlds. I, I, I do like the 3DS. Yes. I really do like the 3DS. That's, I have to give that to Nintendo. I have a lot more fun on Nintendo machines. Yeah, than dude, I, do. I, I play a crap yeah. ton on my 3DS. I love. I mean, it might be the only one here who has a Wii U. Actually, I have. I used to. You have a Wii U. Awesome. Okay, so I'm not alone here. I play a lot of Monster Hunter. Yeah, I do most. I play a lot of Monster Hunter as well. But yeah, I know. I like to replay Wind Waker all the time too. You get mad, but you're very seldom happy when you're playing them. You know, unless somebody's particularly funny on like on you know like on PlayStation Live. What the hell is PlayStation? PSN. The PlayStation Network, I guess. Yeah. With all the Xbox guys there now, I feel at home again, which is kind of nice. I'm no longer like because it used to be like. Yeah, I was like freaking Neo on PSN. I'd have all of them crying. They'd all be shut up. <laughs> They'd be like, Bag! yeah, well, your dad didn't mind it last night. They'd be all like, ah! <laughs> now it's like they're throwing it right back at you. Yeah, he said you were hung like a twig. Hey, you Fuck, trained man. Him. You trained <laughs> him, man. Yeah, I'm the I'm him, here. <laughs> what if I come back from this? <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm ill prepared for back this. Son of, week, Tommy. <laughs> Son of a bitches. Anyway, um, hey, Uncharted like 4, nobody imagined. And I, what? I yeah, I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. That was a pretty I'll be happy to see it again. Okay. Right. <laughs> Mass Effect. What the hell is up with that? Yeah. Bioware. That's a messy suck effect. It yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm tired of Bioware. I'm, I really am. I'm tired of yeah. <laughs> The Vita lineup was not existing. I think you know, I was going to support you in your Halo loving ways, but no, now that you're getting down <laughs> on Bioware, <laughs> I, have <a> <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I have a legitimate reason, you sons of bitches. And you're not going to hear it because we're taking a five minute oh, break. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> And we're back with Guys, yeah. Games, and Beer. And you know what we're going to talk about? Our Jack favorite shit. subject. Our favorite subject. That beer. Butterflies. We're going to talk about beer. That is our favorite subject. We're talking about my fine right. ass. Oh. Second Monkey favorite, butt. Second favorite subject. <laughs> yeah. Second favorite subject. We are talking about you game game it on a budget. Hey, I yep. If I had a tail, if I had a million dollars, if I'd still I be a cheap ass. First thing, <laughs> get a girlfriend and convince oh. her to buy you games. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Nice. No, wait a minute. I yeah, like that idea too. No, it, no, it backfired on Larry. And <laughs> yeah, but no, no, he's shit. He, he, he just gotta find a, be a newer, younger girlfriend who knows what the new games are. Right. <laughs> that's, right. that's why Larry plays all the retro games. That's right. He's a younger girlfriend, so he, next week Larry will be all worn out. <laughs> yeah, well, I got a bunch of shit. She's killing me. I'm gonna be well, on the Xbox One, but I'm slowly dying. <laughs> I gotta drop her off at high school every freaking day. <laughs> in like, the oh, summer. Okay. He's gonna be not even a good student. Will, Will <laughs> Horror. Unless he's a good student, he wouldn't be dating one of us. Will, Will Horror for a PlayStation 4. <laughs> Will Horror for a PlayStation 4. Is that too long for a hashtag? <laughs> no, 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 I think that's just right, right, actually. Yes. <laughs> well, let's talk about Game of Cheap. Now, you got your freeware. You can always buy some freeware for free, for nothing. You don't have to buy it, I guess. You're just downloading it. But most of the time, that has pornography attached. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. And then you'll pay All the better. The game. 10 of 10 would recommend. <laughs> <laughs> but I will tell you about bundles. Man, there are a million freaking bundles out there, and they usually start at a couple bucks. Humble and that is a great way to fill up your Steam Credits. I know all about Humble Bundle. Steam thing. Yeah. I'd... What if you don't have to? Any Star Bundle, Bundle Royale. Yeah. All the all the indie bundles. There's an indie bundle site, by the way, that lists them all. I'll put a link up. Every once in a while, we run it on our Facebook, too. You know, www.facebook.com slash guys, games, and beer. You're welcome, Zuckerberg. 
<laughs> yeah, you can Zuckerberg my Zuckerberg. Zucker Zoidberg. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> how do you get cheap games? Why not Zuckerberg? <laughs> you know, yeah, the bundles are certainly one way to go. Um, and of course, you know, Steam just, you know, they always are having sales all the time. Summer um, sales? And, uh, <laughs> Summer yeah. sale? Summer <laughs> sale, winter <laughs> sales, president sale, whatever, you know. They, Arbor Day sale. I just turned my toenails out. Or even like during anniversaries. <laughs> And, and and fill up your wish list because maybe some of your friends will hook you up. So, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I think Joe yeah. had her right. <laughs> Usually they'll just get you what's on their agendas. <laughs> or they just give you whatever is extra that they still have, right, Rob? Yep. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the only time I buy my friend stuff. He gets me something every <laughs> single day from there. I'll, I'll throw, birthday, a, but it's something throw a, a shout out to our, our shiny loot people. Yep, shiny loot. They, 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 uh, there's lots of good deals on there all the time they got sales uh indie games that have just come out that are fresh and some that they've featured in the past that are now at a discount i find a few cheap games out there you know under five bucks kind of stuff you if know? you run a small podcast people will give you their indie games all the freaking time <laughs> <laughs> with hopes you might review it <laughs> if you're looking for bigger games uh green man ga- or yeah green man games there's another one i've been using it's the one that i got uh the deal on uh, Titanfall. Yeah, Green Man Games. No, that wasn't Green oh, Man. Oh, sorry. That was no. another one. Uh, uh, that was a weird one. Link Man, up there, too, by the way. I, yeah, but Green Man often has, like, the new game, the new AAA titles that come out, like, soon after, like, fucking, like, 10, 20 bucks cheaper. Yeah, they're pretty so, good. They're trying to be cheapo. That's or, a good way to go. What is a... Uh... Is that like G2A or something like yeah, that? Yeah, that's the one, G2A. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank you. That's G2A, right, yeah, yeah. actually, like, you can get, like, after, yeah, like you said. Titanfall was there. killer. Like, on release day, they had it for, like, 20 bucks cheaper. Than yeah, like, else. it was, like, 40 bucks for that. Yeah. Otherwise, How I How do like, they do that? How do they pull that off? They pirate it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they, yeah, they have a key code generator, and they just run through there. It's like, no, they don't. They, I don't know how they do it. I don't know yeah. how they make a profit off of it. Like, Taiwan I version think they sell a lot of yeah. stuff for a loss. <laughs> Yeah, they probably do. <laughs> yeah, they said. probably just make most of their money off of advertisement too. Yeah, they sell you like Pac-Man DX for like fifty bucks. Right. You know? <laughs> also, <laughs> that's how they make their money. Also, like they, they actually probably make some of their money from uh, the Twitch users because a lot of Twitch users who are like, like the big names around there, like people that get like. You mean like 10, guys names in beer? Yeah, totally. They get like ten thousand people every single time they play. They have G2A as a sponsor, or they sponsor G2A. They get money off of them <laughs> for doing that. Um, but for my cheap games, I like, uh, well, you know, subscribing for like PlayStation Plus, you get a ton of free games. Yeah. Like, well, and only man, half of them suck. I mean, <laughs> you can get full of good games. Like, like I said, that well, like, I kept, I keep on talking. If you have it. a Vita, you pretty much get every game. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> I haven't bought. I bought like one Vita game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's another cheap, uh, cheap way to go. If you get a new yeah, yeah, a lot yep. of cheap games. Hey, Five bucks hey. a game. Yep. Uh, Most of them suck, but yeah. Besides the, some that getting the sales, I mean, free to play game quality has gotten higher, you know. So if you don't have the money right away or anything, you know, low barrier to entry, so you yeah. can just always go with those. And there's plenty the, of good the betas. Betas. And betas. <laughs> betas. Yeah. Betas, all betas all the way. Games. Yeah, you know. Uh, pre-orders. Yeah, you can pre-order instant access. It's a cheap way to get into a game. Oh, well, cheap plug. Uh, don't forget Charlie's Games. Scorgasm 2 is coming. Charlie. Ten bucks. He'll give you his whole freaking backlog along with it. Uh, games. That's pretty impressive. Want his backlog? It's ba- Dude, Scorgasm is badass. It's one big log. Yeah. But is it... Did he eat a lot of corn? Yeah. Of fiber intake. Yeah, he eats a lot of... Well, there's there's some Pez in there, too, but... Ugh. Sweet Pez. It's like nature's ass corn. Yeah. Nature's Ugh. ass corn is Pez? Ass cork. <laughs> so, uh, Brian, what do you do for cheap games? Do you whore out your ass? What do you do? Uh, yeah, how how do, do you do better? So, I go on to 4... Microsoft. I go on to... Actually, yeah, there is a way. I go on to 4chan, and then I look up... Uh, uh, coupons that have not expired, and then find gas stations that are stupid, and then get Microsoft points. Well, it's what a friend of mine and I used to do it was uh, just go there and then spend twenty dollars to get a free gift card or a free uh, twenty dollar Microsoft points uh, thing, and we could just do that over and over and over and over and over, and then just cycle uh, which gas station we would go to. So we got. 
I think, $80 worth of Microsoft points before I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm going to get busted. So, it's all criminal free? activity. Yeah. That's yeah. a great way to get your game. Go Maybe there. a casual monkey. Yeah, the pirate thing. thing. You can call the pirate thing. thing. You know, pull a beer at GameStop. Old what? people have a lot of money and don't put up much <laughs> of a fight. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Grandma's hip is taken out easily. Throw a chip. Throw a chip. Throw a chip. Suddenly I am reminded of uh, Clockwork Orange. <laughs> Just saying, the uh, the devices they use to keep his eyes open should be commercially available. Just saying. Don't sing when you're rapping, um, people. Couple ways for cheap gaming. One, retro gaming. Look, if you don't, so let's just say you buy two new games for your Xbox One. Not true. <laughs> now wait a minute. Now two new games for your Xbox One, 150 bucks. No problem. You'll drop 150 dollars for two new games. Yeah. 250 ROMs? Absolutely free. No, not just. Oh, no, no, sorry. no, 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 no. Where I pay? No, no. If you, if you, for that price, for 40 bucks I go out and buy. 30, 40 bucks I go out and buy a PS. Uh, PSX or PS1, the original little version of it. For a buck a pop or more, I'll buy you know the, the, the disc for it. I can get for that hundred and fifty dollars. I can get a game console and eighty games or so. You know, and, and I'm a retro guy. I play a lot of retro games, and you know, I think the only downside or thing that maybe is 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 kind of tough about that is that you you feel a little out of step with pop culture. Like nobody's talking about that game. And who cares? It's yeah, a good you know, game. It's so, a good game. So you might lose out a little bit that. But if you subscribe to Retro Mag or something like that, you can feel like you're in. Yeah, well, yeah exactly. No, I mean, uh, retro gaming culture is so popular now anyway. So there are so many people doing retro gaming and doing cool things in retro gaming. Yeah, I love the Xbox One. The Xbox, not the Xbox One. I'm talking, yeah, you know what I mean. Yes, I know what you mean. But no, the, uh, no but that's a classic example. You, you literally, you, you, really? you, you, no, the Xbox. You buy it for okay. 40 bucks. Oh, okay. You know, here's a machine. Oh, 20. Yeah, well, 40 if you get it with two controllers. Right. And, and, and all of the video cables. And it doesn't look like dirt. Yeah, and it doesn't look like dirt. So you spend 40 bucks on it. And then, again, you can pick up used discs for nothing. I mean, for, it, it is nice how Microsoft figured out three different ways to represent one. Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> Yeah. Rummage sales. Yeah. Ru They're great, man. Serious. Rummage, sa rummage sailing, you know, you, you Craigslist, you rummage sale. It's amazing the deals you can few, A few weeks ago, I bought, <laughs> like, I bought like a whole stores. freaking rack full of games. They they wanted two putts a piece for like 7,800 games. That's why I got all those doubles. Holy shit. I said, ah, I'll just buy the box for a buck a piece. How about that? Yeah, okay. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so that's that's a good cheap way. And the other way is you you wait for Origin and shit to give you free stuff because they watch it on their, on their network. They're desperate. <laughs> they're oh, giving, yeah, no, they, dude, yeah. that's great the games they give away. I've gotten so the much first, stuff from them. The yeah, first Dead so Space plan for versus zombies, Battlefield 3 or 3? Battlefield 3, Battle 3, 3 that's yeah. a good deal. For yeah, three. Battlefield what, 3 is the new one, one right now? now? Uh, well, they gave, yeah, the they gave away the Sims 4 for free. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Which Sims did they yeah, give away for free? I haven't seen a Sims. Oh, they did that a long time ago, because I've got yeah. that, too. And well, I, got got I literally have not bought anything on Origin. They just keep giving me free stuff. They send you an email that's like, hey, we got free games. Yeah. Plants vs. Zombies? All the time, yeah. All the time they're giving away free stuff. And I mean, we're, we're talking decent it's games. A, it's a new game every week or like every month. Or yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. If you, again, if you're an Android, join Amazon Market. I am not an Android. Yep. Because literally they give yeah, away God, a free game, game every freaking day. I mean, yeah. literally it's, every day. So, well, sometimes it's a crappy app. Yeah, who cares? But, but it's most, of the time it's, most of the time it's a game. So, you know, again... It's good. There's lots of ways to do gaming on the cheap. I mean, there really is. Not that not that running out and dropping seventy five dollars on a new game doesn't make me think, Jesus, what the stupid fucking idea that is. But no, honestly, I don't. I'm sorry. I can. I have a hard time playing. There are very few games I would drop seventy five dollars on. I keep buying Modern Warfare on day one, and I regret it every time. I don't know why I do that. And it's like the only game that I buy. But but the problem is, all new so, games are. You're talking fifty to seventy-five dollars. Sometimes, if you nail the right one, you know, I, I bought Final Fantasy three, and it was seventy-five. Oh, and fuck I, my knee! And, and, you know, I don't have any regrets to this day yeah. on that one. I played the hell out of it. I probably put in sixty, seventy hours on it. And which one? 
Uh, Final Fantasy three. Oh yeah, well, Zord. That's easy. Yeah. Uh, again, I just I. That, uh, I mean, I paid fifteen bucks. And, and, here, for and this, this is always my issue. When I only paid one hundred and fifty to the console, I don't want to spend half of that to pay one game for that damn console. Well, one hundred and fifty in the eighties, so inflation. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, new, even the, uh, most look, most new consoles aren't that expensive. I mean, besides when they first come out. Yeah. But a year later, they've dropped down to that. <laughs> I know, go ahead. Well, he pre Sorry. He, he stole it from me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dropped it. Passed it on. No, you passed it to me, it's and then I handed it to him. All right. Here's a courtesy pass. So my favorite game to play on the cheap is either it's a single player game, Don't but it's knows. in the real world. If it has to do with a finger, Ben, so help me. It doesn't have to deal with any of my fingers. Okay. It's either A, put my balls on your stuff. I knew it! <laughs> or B, pee in your mouthwash and or water, you know, flossing machine. This is why I lock my bathrooms on Ben's <laughs> Now, what's the real question? Am I trolling you and I didn't pee in it? Or I actually peed in your stuff? Uh, Deal with it. Now I know what my Listerine is, Yolo. All right, mm, green. <laughs> Gaming on the cheap. <laughs> steam, steam, steam. Yes. Steam, steam, steam. Oh. I'm a, I mean, I did mention I have a Wii before, but I do. I'm a PC gamer all the way. I only have the Wii U oh, for parties. That conversation. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I go Gaming on the cheap. Steam, steam, steam. I've seen 75% off more often than I've seen any other number on Steam. 85. Yeah, I've seen 85. I've seen 90s, too. but 75% off seems to be your favorite number. And Whoa. you get some distance from pretty decent games. I mean, Mortal Kombat and uh, you can get Mortal Kombat and Injustice if you like fighting games. You know, just last week for about 13 bucks total. Both of those games. Steam, Steam, Steam. I also like a lot of indie games. I play a lot of games that are in alpha. Uh, Travis will join me in Sanctuar Fortress. Oh, you can't ever go wrong with Dwarf Fortress. No, Dwarf Fortress is a great game. It's a fun game to just rage at. It is. It is. It's one of those games yeah, that's gonna piss to you it. off. But you're gonna. It's one of those games where if you want to solve the puzzle, you're gonna keep playing it. I've spent well over uh, 200 hours on that game. And it's got short people in it. And it's got short people in it. They perform. You can't really people. tell that they're short because all you see is their face, <laughs> and it's all ASCII graphics. But still, uh, yeah. Ass crab graphics? You know. Jonah, how do you save money other than having your dad buy it for you? Uh, having your dad buy it for you! <laughs> sounds like so oh, got a mom too! Got the Titan ball, ball, ball and all the newer ones. Alright. You, um, you have your grandparents. Birthday <laughs> <laughs> money! Parents. You have Christmas. <laughs> I eat your parents. Your birthday. Oh, you're so sweet and innocent. Those things go away. I know. I know. I'm giving you one. You're the age of 17. If you somehow get your parents to divorce you, you got it. You got it. Larry, are you a supporting insurrection? <laughs> Too bad for you, they like each other. Uh, that's, Jonah, if you want some insubordination, I can I can try it. I'll do my magic I, with your dad. I, I, my anyways. Dad with your dad. <laughs> anyways, well, oh, well, I for far too oh, long. I think yeah, she's okay, so, so all these to it. You'll have to do something more. I don't think Brian, so God, I got really? a <laughs> All these Christmases and stuff might go away. So, so you got to get all your stuff young. You gotta, you gotta gather. I and just be like Larry, and just play your old days. It's like the zombie apocalypse for kids. Man. He's amazingly self-aware. You gotta, you gotta like <laughs> do stuff, which I have troubles doing, and I spend it all. But you know the feeling, you bro. Gotta, you gotta get all your stuff quick. So you know, you got get only your cash stuff. right now. Yeah. Kids, you know ask your parents now. It'll go away eventually. <laughs> That's true. They yeah. start kids, they watch guys game of beer. Yeah. <laughs> As they slowly start to <laughs> send you. Of Here we go. That's all I want to do. I got the cartridge. Hey. Yeah. That's like game on the cheap. So alphas came up. Alphas and betas. I like doing that. I don't do it as much as I should, alphas. but alphas and betas are fun. Um, free. Every game I play is basically free. I don't remember the last time I bought a game. I do prefer, if I'm going to play a free game, microtransactions over play to win. I fucking don't like playing play to win games because I never want to pay anything. Yay! Yeah! But there's some that are on the line of 
good and bad on those same play to win sort of things. How about stealing from your brother? Does that work? Heck no, Techno! I steal shit from him! Yeah. <laughs> I'm the older one. I've got his 360 controller. It's true. Son of a it's bitch. True. Oh, I gave it, like, I bought it and then immediately just like, you're gonna use it. I before. gave him the gift card and then he <laughs> bought it and then I took it. <laughs> Work. So yeah, that happens. And then <laughs> another one no, nobody said is uh, just go to a friend's house. I mean, if you just go to a friend's house and bought the new game, you don't have to spend seventy five dollars. Hell yeah! You know, I was you gonna to play. Kind of the new school way to do that is watch uh, Twitch channels yeah. or play. Yeah, Twitch, yeah. I do a lot of that too because it's like I don't own a next gen, so it's like oh, there's no way I'm going to drop four hundred dollars that I don't have on this game or on this console, and then another sixty dollars that I don't have to buy this game. I'll just watch somebody else play. Quit, it. quit yeah. smoking cigarettes. Like, like when you used to, especially hang, when you were RPGs out of quarters. You just know you're never gonna. You will have that money in hanging in over less the than a month. Yeah. Watching someone else play. Yeah, that's right. what Fuck Twitch channel up. is. That is basically <laughs> it. It's a modern <laughs> version. I quit. Yeah, don't have a smoke. 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 But. You should never smoke. I'm, I'm over here. You want to do one new bet? Yes. She's playing this game right now? You just steal games from this loving guy right here. He's got tons of games on the bookshelf. And all I have to do is just go over and pick one right off of it. Or I pay him for you too. So your recommendation is grow boobs. Yes. <laughs> I'm halfway there! <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a boyfriend that loves video games. Uh, Beyonce. Um, Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce. Beyonce. change your word. I'm of the way there. <laughs> So basically, he just goes out and buys a video game, and then if I feel like playing that game, I'll have to be like, hey, where's this game at? Can hey, I buy this game at? Where's the game at? I want to play this game. Hey, all right. Boobs do help with the whole negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the opposite of what I started with. Yeah, thank you. I was speaking. Hey, jump in. She goes, hey, can you please? Clearly, clearly, video games would fairly well cover. I'm sure you'll have something to do like that. Just, just you just gotta wear a low cut shirt and just lean over and be like, hey, can I borrow this? <laughs> Wait, Bob, can I borrow something? Oh, yes, you can, sweetie. <laughs> Uh, yes, like, I, I wanted to put in a uh, plug for uh, board game no, games. These are really cheap. cool. Yeah. I'm trying to do board games on cheap because board games can be quite expensive. And uh, I, I recommend checking out some of the forums that are out there. One of them I know of is the uh, Board Game Geeks. And uh, a lot of people are selling stuff. And they have something I recently learned of. I'm sure people have been doing it for years. But something called a, a, a math trade where you basically you put your game up and uh, somehow through how you answer your questions or something, uh, the, the computer automates uh, of all the games that were put in, the, the best choice for you. Wow. And then that's the game you get. That might be a way to... Until you to, get your ass Uno. Well, and, and you do have a backhoe clause that if you end up getting oh. a game that you... That, that it selects a game for you that you, you just really wouldn't want at all. You you can back oh, out and just keep your own game. But that is a way to freshen up your titles. How about and, Kickstart? And uh, that you might be bored of. And Kickstart's another great one. I, we've gotten several card games off yeah, of... Yeah, uh, cheap ones too. That, yeah, that have been relatively cheap and, and supporting uh, new growth and stuff so that was a lot of fun and the other thing for board games is uh you know there's like when they have watch for tournaments and and uh, uh conventions where they might have free game libraries to play a lot of the conventions we've covered had free game libraries and you could just yep. check out throw your id all day. at them and then yep. you get to play their games all day long so you know that's a, another way to game game on the cheap you know maybe it's 10 bucks to get in and there's one coming up around here, but I'm not going to mention it. Yeah, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> he who shall not be mentioned. That's right. Wait, but you guys want to know what the best way to get some free games are? Is? I know. Steal that shit. Follow hey, us on Facebook. No, you follow guys getting <laughs> severe <laughs> on Facebook. Only Travis got that. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, you're that segment yeah. wrote itself. Jeez. That's right. You go www.facebook.com slash guys getting severe. And guys. we give away well, a few games a week. All right. Hey. And like us while you're there. 
And hey, like our video too. Yeah. Um, Check out our Steam as well. I mean, it's slowly being developed, but it's being developed now. And check us out on Twitch. You bet. Yes. We're Twitchy. Drink beer. And drink beer. Yes, guys, get some beer. Thank you for watching. Come visit us at www.guysgamesandbeer.net. Win free games on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash guysgamesandbeer.